Hello and welcome back to AI and the Genealogist, tips on using chat GPT. In this tip, I'm going to show you how you can master various writing formats with the help of chat GPT and the keywords everywhere template. I'm going to show you how I do that in my own chat GPT, where I've already added the keywords templates. Let me share my screen with you. You'll see here in the background the previous response that I talked about in another tip. And overlaying it is this Keywords Everywhere prompt template. And this has been added to my Chrome toolbar. And it will now be activated inside ChatGPT. And you can see it down here on the left navigation bar. So that's how I've opened up this little window. So today I want to choose the category of copywriting. In blog writing, which you can see here, you've got a variety of styles to choose from. And today's template that I want is to have a post from a topic. And what it does, it gives me the prompt template, as you can see here. I won't read it all out to you, but suffice to say that this is a prompt to rule all prompts because it gets ChatGPT to do exactly what you ask of it. And that is, I will give you a topic for an article and I want you to create an outline for the topic with a minimum of 20 headings and subheadings. I think maybe half a dozen headings and subheadings would be enough. And the topic that I want to choose, I type it in here in the topic bar and it will automatically be included down here between the quote marks. So my topic today is how to write my ancestral stories with help from ChatGPT. And if you noticed, it added that down here at the same time. And I want just six headings in there. So make that adjustment and then execute the template. So now it's giving me the outline for a blog post on my topic of writing my family history stories with the help of ChatGPT. And then it goes on to give me even more. I wasn't expecting this. However, it's all good because it's actually giving me some paragraphs that I can work with. And it's showing examples as I go. This is ideal for a blog post about writing your family history stories with ChatGPT. I think that sentence there is relevant and worth noting that after receiving the generated text review and edit to ensure its accuracy and coherence. This step is crucial for producing a polished narrative that accurately represents your family's history. But wait, there's more. Enhancing the story, it's given me some ideas about injecting emotional depth and then comes up with a conclusion. So that gives me more than enough in the way of text and ideas to write that blog post. So what I would do next is copy all of that to my clipboard, control C and paste it into a Google doc or somewhere else where I'm preserving all of my responses. So have a go at that. If you're keen to learn how to write with a different genre, then look at adding the keywords everywhere template to your chat GPT. Then create that prompt to rule all prompts and use it frequently to get the best out of your chat GPT advice. Because once you have that prompt, you can simply use the same prompt over and over again.